Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy Smith from Bellator MMA and this is Maggie, my 1969 Plymouth Barracuda 360 engine Edelbrock carburetor. Everything else is stock like 1969. And today, you're rolling with me. So I am really excited about today because I am grappling with Georgie Karahani and there are two reasons I'm excited about this. Number one, I've rolled with Georgie. I know Georgie. He's a really fun guy to roll with. Great jujitsu. Number two, he's not a damn giant, which so far we've done two rolling with Jimmy's and then with Brandon Halsey, who is a beast and Phil Davis, who's an even bigger beast. So I'm finally rolling with a guy who's physically around my weight and that's going to feel really good. Welcome, Georgie. This is my baby, Maggie. Maggie, Georgie. Nice. Baby, Maggie. So we're going to my gym. Uh -huh. So uh, you can't beat me up that bad because it's my gym. So all, all right, right, cool. No. All right, so we're on the train again. Have you embarrassing me and all that? No, 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 no. Cool. All right, good. How many career fights do you have? I have 30. Okay. 30 fights. How many of those fights were? I had a day job to pay the bills. It was about eight of those fights. Man, it was crazy. Like I had to, I was working full time. I was doing construction, and it just had that push in me. I was like, you know what? I know my jujitsu jiu -jitsu is getting better. I'm just gonna stick with it. If I have to wake up at four in the morning, work till four p.m., and then go train from six till nine, I gotta do that as long as I have to do to make my career to the point where I don't have to work. So the division 145 in Bellator, I think. It's Bellator's premier division. Very stacked. Does that excite you? Do you go, man, that's a big uphill climb? What does that do to you as a fighter looking at a division like that? I, I like that. I mean, as a fighter, I, I want to fight against the best. I want to see how, how good I am. And you know, that's the best thing. You know, I'm fighting a former champ. I don't want to be 40 years old looking back and saying, I had an opportunity to fight this guy, this guy. I'm still healthy. I had ACL surgery, so what? So I can use my hands. You know, it challenges me, you know, to fight those guys and be the champion. Wear that belt, man. Oh, that was very good driver, dude. I am a fantastic driver. This is where I train. Hey, Diogo Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Nice, nice. It's a room with mats in it. You know? Can you tell it's old school? Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> Welcome, my man. Before you get on the mat, I know you're old school like me. Oh. <laughs> Brought on the symbol, that's a good place to start. for Pitbull. I mean, everybody forgets that. I mean, you guys squared off in the cage. It was next, George Carhani versus Particio Pitbull for the belt. Tell everybody how your knee went out, because that's a crazy story. That's your last sparring of the day, right? Yeah, last, last sparring of the day. Uh, I'm in New Jersey. Uh, I was helping uh, Frankie for your eye favor. I just threw like a light kick, roundhouse kick. When I plant my foot on the ground, it just gave out on me. But I didn't know it was ACL or anything, so I just kept going for six more rounds, and then, uh, Got back to LA, got the MRIs done. I knew it was uh, ACL, even when I was doing a promotion yeah. for the fight. So when I was sitting there, I was talking, promoting the fight, my knee was just gone. I was just so much pain. But you know, I was willing to fight, but talked to some close friends, they told me not to risk it, so I just got the surgery. Mentally, to go from my next fight is for the title, this is where I wanna be. Mentally, those falls and getting back up, what does that do to you? If I let it do anything to me, then I should just might as well not fight my next fight. It's good for a human being to go through like dark moments. I mean, it's not good, but it's, I looked at it in a positive way. So but right now I just feel different. So I just, you know, I got a good opponent, Pat Curran, so I can't wait. Have some fun, dude. <laughs> that was a nice yeah. one, dude. Ooh, thank you. Oi, oh, come on back. Oh, 
Put a Halsey up in this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Good. Good. Let's get another interview. You have a wife, you have two kids? Right, yeah. I you have a, a house you gotta pay for, you have family. How does that change? Does it make it easier or harder to pursue this life? I think it makes it easier because you just got to provide, you know, it just, it's part of being, having a family. Train is never a problem. Motivation is never a problem, especially with two kids, so. I'm on gear six when I'm training for a fight. Everything just pop, 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 fast. But, you know, when I'm with my kids, I'm just a normal dad, you know, I, I play with them. I try to be stupid. I try to make them smile and laugh and just change up the gears, you know. Does it make you think about, I have goals I have to get to earlier more than you would think? earlier in your career? Do you think a little more long-term about yeah, right, needing to get that Right belt? now, I'm just focused for the next good eight years. Because I feel like in MMA, I didn't take that much damage. I'm, I'm trying to be very intelligent how I take my next eight years in this sport. So, you know, I can move up the ladder and I f start making good, good money, you know? Yeah, we're looking forward to my stand up with me. That's how I always end training, bro. Oops. I'm old school. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Anytime, dude. Anytime, dude. Anytime I'm back from Riverside. <laughs> <laughs>